My name is Savannah Belcher McLean and I am a makeup artist. I took a makeup artistry course and became a certified makeup artist in 2003. And basically that consisted of um, a program that we learned special effects makeup, we learned bridal and beauty, high fashion, and then specifically for film and television. Typical day would consist of either brides coming in, getting their makeup done, or uh, even just for their trial to, pre like, to pretend that it's the big day. Um, also, a fashion shoot, we'd have several models coming through and uh, hurry up, get their makeup done, and watch them on set, make sure that everything looks good through the film, and uh, yeah, get, on, get those pictures back at the end. You get to be really creative. Um, you get to meet a lot of different people and you kind of get to be a, a pretty integral part of being in film or um, photos as well, not having to be in the actual picture, but getting to see a pretty good product at the end. It's very high stress, so if you're under a high time constraint or um, maybe you have a bride that's very particular or a client that's very particular, then you might be a little bit more stressed out about that. <laughs> you have to be very detail oriented. Um, it's not too technically difficult, but you do have to learn um, how different products apply to the skin. And uh, it is very physically tiring if you're on your feet for 10 hours on end. Um, and that, that would probably be where the difficulty would lie. A lot of opportunities are um, PEI for makeup artists are kind of self-made as far as fashion and film go. You have to make a lot of connections with um, different photographers. Um, if you decide to go off island you can go pretty much around the world um, and you don't even really have to speak the language you just have to be able to look at a picture and kind of recreate it um, to get the right makeup look. Someone who's very detail oriented, likes working with their hands, doesn't mind standing for a long periods of time, and someone who's very personable and doesn't mind listening to the client as well, you need to do exactly what other people are asking you for. To be a makeup artist, rather than an esthetician or a cosmetologist, you would have to take a specific makeup artistry certificate. So um, there are various schools um, across the country that are really fantastic, um, but make sure that it is specifically to be a makeup artist that will help you learn the photography and the film side, what is going to be seen through film, whereas um, an esthetician would be very good at doing um, what, you, what your eyes will see, and they also learn different things things about um, like waxing and, and uh, pedicures and that sort of thing, the more relaxing parts. Um, but makeup artists are specifically um, learning makeup artistry. One of the most fun things about being a makeup artist is that I don't only have to make people look pretty, I can give them third degree burns, I can give them um, mutated horns coming out of their face, I can do a lot of different things. So estheticians don't get to do with stuff like that. They pretty much stick to um, making people even more beautiful.